in a land beyond the rainbow. Emerald City needs all the heart and courage it can get right now. Got your back, straw man. You can count on us. Run? That's the plan? The Emerald City faces its greatest challenge. Don't mess with a jester. <laughs> and there's only one person who can save the enchanted world. Dorothy. Dorothy. Dorothy Gale? I thought you'd be taller. <laughs> this May. I can't believe it, Toto. We're really back in Oz. Return to Oz for a journey beyond imagination with a new team of heroes <gasps> you will never forget. <gasps> Are you okay? I do have a large piece of bark lodged in my... <gasps> Sorry, I'm giving you too much information. Experience the magic. Lion, lion, coming through! Believe in the dream. There will always be a rainbow when you need one most. Live the adventure. Ready the candy pulse. Some balls loaded, sir. <laughs> Legends of Oz. My, but you're silly. It's a costume, isn't it? It's my curse. Literally. I can't take this off ever. Oh. So I know this trailer came out a few weeks ago, but I got an unusual number of requests to review it. So I not only wanted to honor those requests, and I'm sorry it took me so long, but I think it's applicable to something I discussed yesterday on Morning Movie News. And that is the state of animation today. So I was asked by a number of you how I felt about uh, the quality of uh, computer animated films this year, especially, I guess they're all computer animated these days, uh, but especially because none of them had made my top 10 list. And a number of top 10 lists from a number of critics I have not included an animated film. I guess Frozen maybe is the one that's gotten on a number of lists, but overall they've been, you know, largely ignored when it comes to discussing the films that really made an impression this year. Although not an impression at the box office, because uh, animated films are doing quite well there. Uh, and that's really what I said on Morning Movie News, that you're having a, a real push and pull between quality and box office quantity. Uh, and when the quantity is there, uh, the quality becomes less important, sadly, to Hollywood. I don't understand why they don't have any pride in their work, but they don't. And I think that because there's so much money being made with computer animation, and quality doesn't seem to be of paramount importance, not only to the studios, but to audiences, I think you open the door for films like this. Uh, I think this is a result of what's going on. And I think it's unfortunate because uh, you have the celebrity voices because, you know, this company could write the checks necessary to get them. Uh, and I think you have somewhat good animation. Uh, I think it's just a tad above uh, direct-to-video quality, but I think you could see some people going to see it in theaters. And you have a property that is, you know, in fair use. You know, the rights, the copyright has expired on, uh, uh, you know, the Oz stories, so anyone can tell them. Recently, actually, somebody said, isn't Peter Pan, I talked about the dueling Peter Pan films in the works, uh, one from Warner Brothers, and someone had said, isn't Peter Pan a Disney property? And it's actually, it's, it's funny that some people f think that way, but for instance, Peter Pan is also a fair use property. Uh, the copyright is expired, and anyone can tell a Peter Pan story. Disney's just happens to be the most famous. Uh, so, but anyway, with this film, I mean, I think it seems, it really does seem like a television or direct-to-video quality animation to me, and the fact that it's getting to the theater uh, just goes to show that you're seeing these smaller companies will go, well, why not? Why not? Why shouldn't we try and get in there? You saw that happen with uh, Real FX, Free Birds, which did okay at the box office, even though I don't really know, I mean, it was, I think it was a great idea to do a holiday-specific film, especially for a holiday that doesn't get a lot of attention, Thanksgiving, uh, but that did okay, and you have The Nut Job coming out, uh, both, although I think The Nut Job and Free Birds look better than this. But you never know. I mean, I think that this, this film is going the more girl-friendly route. You know, princess stuff does very well, as you can see from Frozen. So maybe they might have, uh, be finding a corner of the market that's being underserved. I think that's one of the reasons Frozen did so well, that the princess market is underserved. Uh, you, you have mostly cute and cuddly characters. Uh, and just like The Nut Job or, uh, you know, Free Birds. So, I think that that's, that's what's most interesting to me about this trailer. Not, you know, it doesn't look so great, but that the market's evolving to allow for, you know, more middling animated films. But I, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, why, I mean, what's, do you, why is there, you think there's a particular interest in this animated film? Uh, do, are you, do you, are you okay with any animated movie? Do you tier them in terms of quality or are you just like going to see animation uh, and so this movie does have a shot? And do you think that it's a slippery slope in terms of quality? Do you think when you write, uh, give, give Disney a pass on quality because you say it's a kid's film, then do you therefore have to be okay with this movie as well? 
Uh, write your thoughts down below. Thank you for everybody who requested this. Again, I apologize for the delay, but I'm glad I was able to get to it. And thank you for your patience. And uh, you can check out some more episodes right now.